and the third part of a random haul i think a lot of this stuff that's left is charity shop but i think there's some other bits in here as well so i will get started this was on the sale rack in the charity shop we went into it i had like a sale rack thing and so this was originally marked at five pounds but anything on the sale rack without a cross on it was half price so this was two pound fifty it's originally from i think it's h and m is it h and m h and m and it's like i don't know what you would call it it's not it's kind of like is it like a boyfriend coat it's not really a blazer it's very hard to show it's got a duster maybe it's very awkward to show but it's got no pockets it's got let me see it's very very soft so it feels really nice it's gray it's got pockets here did i say it's got no pockets it's got no buttons i mean it's got pockets here and it looks like a kind of boyfriendy coat it's meant to be like oversized i think this is actually a size like it's way too small for me i don't know it says a us4 so i don't know what that is why does it not have let me see i don't know what size it is. a europe 34 i do not know what size it is but i do know that it fits like kind of oversized but i think that's the look of it it's meant to be oversized but i'm pretty sure that's not a 10 or a 12 which is what i am anyway so it's meant to be must be meant to be really oversized like more oversized than it is on me but i really liked it you could just fling it on i thought it'd be really nice it'd be nice on like a night out with a little dress or whatever underneath it and you just put that on it would look really smart so i was really pleased with that for £2.50. This I have brought, brought, bought since I came home. I really liked it. I paid out quite a bit for this. This was a charity shop purchase, but this was £15 for this. When my mum and I walked into the charity shop, it was on the shelf, like up high. And you know, I love this colour, like this burgundy kind of colour. I absolutely love it. And this was on the shelf high up, and I could see the price ticket saying £15. And I'm like, £15 for a bag in a charity shop that's just far too much like it's just they're being ridiculous and then says me who bought the bag anyway and then I'm like mum said why don't you just have a look at it so they got it down for me and I had a look at it and I fell in love with it and the reason it's this it's that price is because it's a Paul Costello and it's still I don't know if you can see that there but it's still got a little plastic cover on the like on the hardware I think it's a little fox or something I don't know what the little emblem is but I think it's a fox but they've still it's still got the plastic on it so it's literally brand new so that's why it was 15 pounds if you can see that i'm sure it's still got the tag on it yep 15 pounds for this but i love it it's literally in one of my favorite colors it's a really good size for like an everyday bag because you can fit you know a good amount of stuff in it. it's not so tiny that it's ridiculous but you could also wear it on a night out or something if it coordinated with your outfit you know because it's not too big and oversized i just i really love it i really fell in love with it and I thought, well, for this type of bag, and it's brand new, £15 doesn't seem that bad. So I bought it. I knew it was going to be one of those things that if I didn't get it, I just knew that I was going to come home and think about it and think about it and think about it and go back and get it anyway. So I thought, save yourself that hassle then and just buy it in the first place. It's immaculate on the inside. You can tell it's brand new. It's never been used. And it's got the little Paul Costello thing there. And it's just, it's just a smart little bag. I just really like it. And I'm really... You know, like sometimes you get stuff like that. Mark bought me that Juicy bag, Juicy Couture bag. And it's nice and I will use it. And I do like it. There's something about it that I do like. But you know, like when you just, this is very plain, but there's something about it that just, I just love it. I'm really excited to be using this. And I really, really love it. And I think it's going to end up being, a, if not my favourite handbag, one of my very, very favourite handbags. And you know, I like me some handbags. I don't know why that's here. That's rubbish. Um, next, this is here. It's like a, this is like swimwear, it was in, where am I, Sainsbury's on sale, I don't even know, this wasn't really meant to be in there, but I'm going to show you now that I picked up anyway, it's got a little peplum type top, it's like swimsuit material, the reason I got this, my gran actually bought me this, I'm sure it was £12 reduced to £6, and she got me this for sunbathing in the garden, so I didn't, because I, I had got a little bit of colour, but I had like really white strap marks, so she bought me this for sunbathing in the garden, so I didn't have any strap marks, it actually came with a little bag with the little strap in it, so you could wear it halter neck, but it's just a cute little top for the summer and it's good for that if you don't want to get strap marks so there's that next thing got these from the chad shop these were two pound i don't know why i like these so much where are they from originally f and f that's tesco's i think size 12 to 14 they're jammies i was i wasn't on the lookout for jammies but i knew that i needed new jammies and i did end up like in my first lottery date two pairs of jammies that i got from sainsbury's there's more in there i'm pretty sure there's more jammies in there or jammy bottoms like you send me 
I'm literally going to clear out my jammy drawer and just put all these jammies in. I also bought two plain white vest tops at Primark so that they could go because, like I said, I bought a couple of pairs, I think they're in there, of jammy bottoms so that I had like vest tops to go with them. These, I've got toothbrushes and toothpaste all over them. These have been washed so all the tags are off them but they were a pound and there's something about it I just liked and they look like they're new, I don't know if it shows it on camera but you know like when you feel a material before you wash it and you could just tell it's like it feels new. Well, I just, I was attracted to the design of it so I got these and like I said with a little um, white vest top that was like a jammy set for a pound and I think the vest tops are only 180 so it was like £2.80 for a pair of jammies. This is not jammies but it's so pretty. You know I get a thing for like vintage, vintage slips and just oh, lace and just like, I don't know, like vintage, you know that look like vintage underwear but not, not like that but I don't know, just a little slips and the camis and just all stuff like this. Well, I saw this and this to me, I think it's inside out, hold on. This to me looks like some sort of bridal wear, like something you would get in like a bridal shop. It's so unbelievably pretty. It's sheer all the way down there and then the lace on the bottom is really what got me. It is so pretty, like it's just lovely. I can't remember how much this was because it was in a basket with like swimming costumes and all stuff like that and I, I had a whole load of stuff so I don't know what, what she charged me for this but I don't think it would have been that much of a pretty cheap charge shop but how pretty is that lace? It's just, I couldn't resist it. This caught my eye and I'm like, what are you, what are you? Please be my size so I can buy you. It's so pretty at the back, it's got like the, and it is my size, it's got the, like an adjuster thing like a bra and then I think it's got adjustable straps here, it's got adjustable straps as well and then the lace at the front, how pretty is that? Even to have this under, like another dress and just have a little bit of the lace shown at the bottom I just thought it would be so pretty so there's that let me see oh this isn't meant to be in here there, there is inevitably going to be stuff in here that's not meant to be in here I picked this up for Alexander it was I think it's about 50 pence or 25 pence or pennies basically it's a little turtle but it feels really really soft so there's that never known a boy that loves or a child even that loves soft toys as much as Alexandra, he absolutely loves it. That's a little nail set that I did not buy when I was there, so I'll show you. Oh, this I really, really liked. So this was from the child, one of the child shops we went to in the town centre a bit, and it was dear. I mean, I think this was like six pound or six pound fifty or something, compared to the child shops here where I get clothes for a pound. It's this little jacket, it's from M & Co, I'm sure it is. Yes, M & Co, it's a size 10. It doesn't have any buttons on it. It kind of looks like a little, blazer type thing but the what got me about it is it's quilted it's like that I really love this material and like home decor and anything and apparently in clothes as well I just it's quilted and it's it literally just sits so nice on you it would be nice with a black dress or a black top underneath it and it just sits so nicely and you look kind of put together when you put it on but it's still comfy and soft so there's that Next thing, let me see, is this. It's like a... <laughs> Next thing is this. Next thing is... What do you call it? Like, not a... A kimono? Kimono? Is that right? Am I using the right... I don't know if that's the right word. I think it's a kimono style... I don't know. What would you call it? It's not a blouse because it doesn't have buttons. It doesn't have anything, any fasteners. So it's just flowy and kimono. I'm, I'm thinking kimono. I don't know. Anyway, it's in this pattern. This was also from that child shop and it was, I think it was like 5 50 or something, so it was much dearer. It's got this paisley kind of pattern all over it. It's very, very light and the colour just attracted me because it's not quite orange, not quite red. It's like somewhere in between and I liked it. There's literally a mountain at the side of me. The, this, I got this, these. I'm saying these because there's actually shorts underneath it. This looks like a skirt. So this was brand new with tags when I got it, but I've washed it. I haven't worn it yet though. This was again like six pound, six pound fifty or something, which is quite dear. But this was brand new with tags. It's like a, you know, like the trousers, like the combatty trouser type thing you get. This is like the skirt version of it. There's just, I don't know. I really liked it, and I thought it's neutral. It'll go with everything. I'm definitely going to get that. And I didn't realise at the time that underneath that, it, it actually comes. It's maybe meant for like active wear or something. You know, like in one of those outdoorsy type shops, it comes with shorts, so you've got the little shorts built in underneath it, so you don't have to worry about bending over and flashing somebody or, you know, showing a little bit too much because you're all nice and secure in your shorts. 
there's that. Oh, I didn't tell you where these originally came from. I didn't tell you where this one originally came from, just in case anybody's interested. Um, Esmara, I don't know where that is, but that's where that one came from. And this one is all oh, brilliant. I decided to pick a name I cannot pronounce. I'm going, um, Quetcha. I'll show you the label in case you're interested. Where's that? Anyway, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Next thing, oh, pick this up for Alexander. Oh, this is get dirty. Something's been leaning in here. Something has lean, been put in the bag and this top has got dirty because this was definitely washed, but it's got a big dirty mark on the back of it, so I'll need to put it in the wash again. This is originally from Lazy Jacks. And it just looks, it just looks so cute. It's got a monster on the front. It's really, really soft. It's got long sleeves. And then the monster carries on to the back. And I just thought for Alexander it would be really cute. But it's somehow got a dirty mark in it. So I shop it over there. And I will wash it. Right, next thing is this skirt. This is another skirt. It's not similar to this, I think. But similar to in my head. As in, this will go with a lot of stuff. I thought with this, I could wear this in the summer. Which I did wear this. I don't know if you can see it's creased. It's literally been sitting in the bottom of the thing. It's originally from Papaya, which is Matan, I think. But this, it's a size 8, but I thought I would get away with it because it's got an elasticated waist, and I did, it fits me fine. It's just a, like a khaki, kind of straight, almost pencil skirt type thing, but it's got a casual kind of feel to it. But I thought, again, in the winter with tights and stuff, in the summer you can just wear it with bare legs. I thought I'd get quite a bit of use out of this because it'd be nice with a big chunky jumper and tights so got that and that one was let me see that wasn't in that chair trip so the clothes in that chair trip i think this was 3.99 i'm not sure but i think it was 3.99 or around about that price let me see let me see that's also not meant to be in here there's a lot of stuff that's not meant to be in here that all that stuff came in this bag and this bag is from samuel lamont and it's a shopper bag but it's like pvc type you know whatever this material is i don't know how me tapping it's going to help but you know like what try and make it i bet you're screaming the material mate and it's probably not pvc is it pvc i don't know like coated kind of thing wipe down basically so you can wipe it down i really like this i like the pattern on it for sure i love the fact that it's got long straps a lot of the shopping bags and things you get i've got the short straps so you've got no choice but to hold it like this or hold it over there whereas this you can put it over there and hold your stuff in it there and I really really like that about it this is still to be put through the wash no it's not it's been washed I'm talking rubbish I wouldn't have put that stuff in it if it had been washed anyway there's that so that was three pounds and I really really like it and I think I'll get a lot of use out of it next is I put this in I actually got a lot of stuff out of Lush but this is one that I really really wanted to mention because it's so lovely it was however 20 pound a bottle which I thought was pretty pricey and if you haven't smelled this, it's well worth a smell if you're passing a wash. It's called Twilight. It's a Twilight Body Spray. It says on it, um, clouds of dusky tonka, lavender and ylang ylang charm and bewitch with sweet nursery rhymes notes to help you bed down for the night. So I think you can use this as like a sleepy spray, you know, like spray it on yourself or spray it on your pillow or something. But I've just been using it as a body spray to go out you know, and it's lovely. And I keep getting compliments. Every time I wear this, somebody tells me I smell nice. So... Not that I stink when I don't wear this, but you know, you, know, you get some perfumes and everybody seems to comment on them. This is one of the things I've just not every like literally every time I wear it, someone compliments me on it. So there's that. It smells really nice. It is the the Twilight bath bomb is my favourite bath bomb scent, and this is in that scent. And it's just I can see how it would be like a sleepy thing. It's very it's one I can't really describe, but you can smell the lavender, but it doesn't just smell like lavender. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So I just wanted to put that in. I did get other stuff which I've kind of used and I didn't bother putting in. But that I thought was worth a mention for you to have a sniff and see if you like it. And I've used that quite a lot and there still feels like there's quite a lot in it. There's 200 milliliters, so I have sprayed it like a fair deal. So there's a lot. And Alexander kept spraying it as well. He really liked the smell of it, so he kept on spraying it. Anyway, do you think that's been 10 minutes? Should I stop and make another haul or should I just carry on going? I think I'm going to carry on going and just not waffle on so much, but I'm going to try this. Hold on, it's still got this wrapper thing in it. This I bought from eBay. I thought it was coming from China maybe because I think it's, it's got like Chinese tag things on it, like Chinese writing. But 
it came to me within a couple of days. I don't know if you remember me doing it. Oh, in fact, hold on one second. I was just thinking there, I bought this because I don't know if you can see this, there's similarity. Basically, this is a giant jelly bag. I think it's got, it's got a pack of extra strong mints in it. You might be able to see that through there. But it's a jelly bag. It's got glitter in it. I absolutely love this bag. But you would think it would be lightweight because it's just like jelly. It's very heavy and it's a very awkward bag to carry. So whenever we have like nights in at my friend Ian's house, it's where we usually have them. Like my friends all gathered at his house. This is like my Ian's house bag, like Ian, my best friend. This is like his house bag because that's the only place I use it because it's so heavy and you can't like put it over here or whatever. It's just awkward. So I got myself a miniature one and I got taken in jelly bag to eBay and this came up. They had a whole load, but this one was the most similar to that and I absolutely love that one. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm still got this one, but I think... I'll get a lot of use out of this one because this one came with a crossbody strap. So you've got the little handle here, but it also comes with a little crossbody strap. This was, I think this was $7.99 and I can't remember the postage on it, but it came to around about £10 or just over £10. But I love it. I absolutely love it. The strap came wrapped up like, and I've just put it on it. Like you attach it through, I'm not doing a very good job. You attach it through there. See, it's got like the tag and it's like Chinese. So I thought it might even come from China, but it came really really quickly no pouches no pockets no nothing just little jelly bag the fastener is really nice it fastens really really nicely it's got little poppers on the side so you can make it a little bit narrower if you want but it's just so cute and the little thin strap the strap needs to be used because like i said i've just put it on so it needs to like be used and thing so that the kinks come out of it i don't even think there's that many kinks in it actually but i just love it and it's like a little miniature version of my jelly bag that I really love. I feel sad about that jelly bag because that's literally the only time it gets used. So I feel so happy that I've got another one that I can actually use every day if I so chose. So there's that. Let me see. Oh my goodness. What else have we got? What else have we got? This I got in Sainsbury's. My gran also, my gran really liked it as well and she got it as well. And it was reduced from, I think it was £12 to £6 or something. I took a backpack when I went and it's too, it was too big. I don't know what I was saying. It ended up being really, really, really hot when we were in there. And the backpack was making me sweat. Like, where... I just... I didn't think it through. I've not... I'm not really a backpack wearer. And certainly not in that heat. Because it just... I didn't realise it was going to make me sweat so much. So, I, did, I didn't like the feeling of it. Like, I felt like... I, I didn't like the feeling of the backpack. And it was too big. So, I wanted a little crossbody bag. And I looked in the shared shops. Couldn't find anything. It wasn't in the shared shops. So I got that little bag. But... I got this. I thought it was pretty. I thought it was a perfect summer colour. It's got a little keying thing here with three little flowers on it. They're just, it's so pretty. This bag is a perfect design. It's got a zip pouch here, a zip pouch here, and then your main zip, zip pouch, ugh, spit out there. Your main zip pouch there with a zip pouch inside of that. It's just enough pockets. So on this side, I would have my phone, and this, in the middle of it, I would have my person things. And then on this side, you would have like your lip balm or anything you wanted to access. I just, I really love it. I love the, it's kind of simple, but the design, everything's so easy to find. You're not like rooting around in it because it's just got three pockets. And I thought that lilac colour was just so nice for the summer. So there's that. I get a feeling this video is going to be somewhat longer than the other video. I picked up these. These are still got the, oh, they don't sell the price tag on them because that's a price tag for something else. These, I'm sure these were like six, five pound, six pound, like five fifty maybe. These are Fit Flops. I love the brand Fit Flops. I, I, they're just so comfortable, so, so comfortable. And these are Fit Flops in my size. I really, really like them. However, they're the white with the sort of orangey coral type bottoms. I would prefer, I got them, I thought, oh my goodness, my size, they're that cheap, I should get them. But I think I would prefer them if they were all one colour, like my other ones were grey. And I think I'd like a pair that go through, go between the toes, so they're Flip flops, the brand is Fit Flop as an F I T flop, but I'm not sure about the colour because I'm like, that's not going to go with everything. I think I might rather, like, I would maybe rather appear that we're all the one colour, but I don't know. I'll give them a shot. They're really comfortable, like, ridiculously comfortable, so I might just have to keep them either that or sell them on eBay, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, not decided about them, so there's that. 
These I will not be selling anywhere, I can assure you. I am in love with these. I have not worn them yet, so I've got the price tag in the bottom. These were three pounds. They've got, I don't know if you can see it, they look as if they've never been worn. They're literally, they look brand new. I just, I, I just, I love them. If I show you up close, they've got little, it's got, they have, yes, they, there's more than one stars all over it in different colours. I'm holding it, I hope you can see that. It's got little stars all over it. It's got nice cushiony sole. It says, I think these were made in Italy, but even the sole of it is leather. So I think they were maybe, what does it say? V, V I V I E Italy designs. And they look like they've been expensive and they look like they've not been worn. And I love them. I literally, I love, I'm loving slides at the moment. Anyway, but these are just different. I've just I've never seen them do with these ones, and they look really really nice when they're on your feet. So for three pound, I was just I was super chuffed at that, and I love stars. So as you can tell, because I'm wearing stars just now, I also have a star tattoo. So I do fairly like stars. This I got. This was on the sale. It was meant to be two pound, but it was on the sale rack, so it was a pound. I just got my. It's a size fourteen, and it's a new. It's from New Look. I'm not a fourteen. I'm like a ten, twelve on top. Well, probably a ten on the top half. But I don't like a tight t-shirt and I think this is meant to be a little bit fitted but I mean it will be baggier. It looks like a child's t-shirt, that's what it looks like and that's what attracted me to it. I really like dinosaurs. It says dinosaurs rock but they're in really bright colours. I just thought it looked really kiddy like but I don't know. I thought it was cute, I really liked it. So got that. This I picked up, this was £3 and let me see where are you from originally. H&M. Oh no, I tell a lie, this is not £3. This was £2.50. It's still got its original little price tag on it. This must mean this. Anything that's still got its price tag on it needs washed. So there's this. It looks as if it would be shorts, but it's not shorts. It's a little sailory type skirt, but it just looked really comfy. It's almost like a tennis skirt type thing, but it look, I think it's going to be really comfy because it's got the elasticated waist and it's all cotton and stretchy. So I've got that. And did I say, yeah, it's original from H&M. So there's that, let me see. This is a little vest stop. This was 75 pence. It was in a basket of stuff that was 75 pence. So there's that, it's basically just, I think it's from Primark. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from Primark, maybe, is it? Divided, oh no, H&M, sorry. It's from H&M, size 12, just a little blue vest stop. And I might use this to, I bought some jammy bottoms and I might use this as like a top for some of the jammy bottoms I bought. Okay, there's a story behind this. This is definitely going to be a longer video than the other two. So this was a, I bought the photo frame in a charity shop and it was 50 pence. And the little picture that's inside it is a card. It was Alexander's birthday while we were down in England with my family down there. And his cousins, Tegan and Chloe, got him a card and on the card it said happy birthday and it was like a whole load of peas with this one knitted pea in the middle. I just liked it so so much. It made me smile when I looked at it and I thought I'm going to, I don't, I'm not a person that like keeps birthday cards or anything but this one I was like no that's going I'm going to keep that and I'm going to put it in my kitchen. How fitting given that it's peas and I don't, it just, it made me smile so 50 pence for the frame and this was Alexander's birthday card and I just really love it so thank you Tegan and Chloe I love it and now that I've done this haul I can finally put it in my kitchen this is River Island size 14 cardigan it looks just like a ordinary is it waterfall I'm not sure like no details showing up in that at all is it it's basically it's a black cardigan but I don't know if you can see that if I hold it up against the wall it's almost like lace kind of let me see, see the pattern on it, it's like that all over it, so it's almost lacy looking and I really really like it and I think it was only £2.50 or £3, so there's that. This I bought, oh there's a couple of things here, hold on. This I bought because I thought this would be a cute wee summer bag as well. This was 75 pence, but the thing I liked about it that caught my eye was the beads on it. It's got different coloured beads down the the lights picking that up it's the really pretty beads down the strap of it however this bit is coming loose like unraveling kind of thing but what I thought I would do is get yellow thread and just wrap it around that like wrap it around this little bit to here and to here on both sides and it'll just look as if it's meant to be like that because I thought it was like a nice sweet sort of slightly hippie kind of bag for the summer it's got no pouches in it or anything it's literally just it's just that but it's enough to chuck like your purse and 
your phone and your keys and whatever in it so I really like that and for 75 pence you can't really go wrong this I think was a pound I'm not sure it looks like a very old-fashioned purse it doesn't look like it probably is a very old-fashioned purse it's leather I'm pretty sure it's leather it smells like leather it's got this pouch on the front I'm quite fussy with purses like how they open they've got to the I don't like a purse that doesn't give you enough room for change or it's got to be a certain way and that I like the configuration of this purse basically so it's got flap here like this and like that it's got the zip pouch on the back and on the inside it's green and it's got I think it's got two pouches yeah so it's got two pouches in here so you could have your coins in one and your notes in the other or whatever you wanted but I really liked it and it's in really good condition actually it does look as if it's been very old but I don't know it looks as if it's in really really good condition and I liked it and it would be even good maybe for some of my smaller bags because it's not too big a purse there's that next thing I bought was let me see oh I think I've got one more thing I think I've got a pair of slides that I bought I've got a do you know what let me see I think I don't even have them here I just remembered that I've got a pair of slides that I bought so I will insert a couple of them here and I got them in the same shop as I got this and the name of the shop was I think it was it doesn't say on there but I think it was let me see let me see I think the name of the shop was oh shoe zone I think like like a kind of cheap shoe shop type thing these are not slippers although they look like slippers they're pink they're fuzzy they go between your toes like flip floppy style and they're actual like go outside shoes though they do look very much like slippers but I just really like them and it says on here they were 12 99 except they weren't they were £6.50 because they were half price let me see these I've got in the same shop I can see my battery thing flashing on my camera and I'm panicking now but I'm not going to get this all filmed these are I got from the same shop and these I think these were £6.99 in fact yes these I'm pretty they did £5.99 or £6.99 I think it may have been six ninety nine. They're kind of like, like a penny black type thing. So they're like canvas. They're just so comfortable. I actually like them so much that I went bought back and bought another pair. So I've got two pairs of these because I was worried like I wouldn't be able to get them when I come up here and I can see myself wearing them a lot because I really like them. And these would be a good one to chuck in your handbag if you're going for a night out and you're wearing like ridiculously high heels and your feet get sore just to change into. So you can still go on the dance floor. Right, next, what is in here? Oh, this I bought, it is, I'm not sure if it's like a baby's headband or a garter, but I'm going to wear it as a little garter. You don't see a lot of people wearing garters now, apart from brides maybe, but I really liked it and I'm going to wear it. I'm not sure with what dress or what, but I'm definitely going to wear this and this is some like 10 pence or something. So got that, let me see, I've already showed you the other one of that in the other video, it's a, goes with, it's a pair of slippers basically. Oh my goodness, am I going to finish this before my camera runs out? Well, I'm, I was going to say while I'm opening this, I'll show you this. Now, how clever would I be if while I was thinking this, I could open this? Not that smart. This is a little keyring. What price was it? So on it, 50 pence. It's a little glitzy keyring like that, but it's a pen. And I thought that would be handy, you know, when you're always looking for a pen. Just attach it to your keys and you've always got a pen with you. And it works. So that's quite handy. Right, let me just get this out. Oh my goodness, something fell. Oh dear. Right, this is from, I'm sure this is from Marks and Spencers. Let me see. Yes, this is from m &S. It's a size 10. And it is literally just, it's in a thousand creases, so it looks awful. But it's basically just a plain white shirt. This is 3 99 or 3 50 Sorry that I'm not got the exact prices, but a lot of stuff's been washed. But it wasn't any more than £4. And I thought a white blouse is something that I don't actually think I own. And it was a handy thing to have. So there's that. This one here. This was only £2. And it was from... Is it, what does it say? Tokyo, darling? It's an extra small. But it does fit me because it's stretchy. And it's kind of rough looking. Like it's all unfinished around the edges. It's got the muscle back type thing. It's quite sheer. And it's just a vest sort of like that. It's longer in the back. But I like the material. It's kind of sheer though. But... I like that. Next thing, let me see. This I picked up. I don't think this is my size, but you know I love vintage slips and stuff, so it's a little. It does fit me, but it could probably fit me if it. I think it's maybe like a size too big for me. It's got the lace down the bottom and just a little underskirty type thing like that. And that was in like a box of stuff, and so I think it was super super cheap. Got these jammy bottoms. These were brand new. They have been washed. These were from M and S originally. 
they didn't come with the top it was just the bottoms but I said in the other video or this video I'm not sure I bought the plain white vest tops from Primark so there's that and that was a pound for that so pretty cheap for a set of jammies this was an actual set so the top is just kind of plain blue and then the bottoms of them I've got seagulls all over them like that and they were two pound for those jammies so and again they were brand new I think somebody donated a whole load of jammies I've got two more things and I just hope my battery has not either cut out and I've talked with myself or that it lasts to the end of this video so I can get to say goodbye to you so there is these jammy bottoms I think these are three quarter length maybe but these were brand new as well I have washed them well my gran washed them for me when we were at her house they've just got a cute wee pattern on it and like I said I was in desperate need of new jammies so now I'm completely sorted for jammies oh this is not I thought this was jammies but it's not this is from the brand Fat, Fat Face and I know their clothes are really, I really like their clothes and they wash really well. It's just long sleeved and it's floral and I'm pretty sure my battery is going to cut out in a second so I'm just going to say goodbye while I can and I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!